All right, as I mentioned yesterday, I wanted to make sure I made an object that I could point my cursor at in the distance. I didn't get the shooting mechanic to also shoot at that object in the distance yet because I felt like it would be more useful to spend a little more time explaining how this worked. So all I did actually is I went into the hierarchy here and I created a new object that was inside of my player rig. And all it is is just a target point. So I literally just created an object in the distance. You can see here in the screen, it's this red button ball right in the center. Now what I did next is I went into code and I said, okay, I need a couple of things. I need a target point, which is that ball or that sphere in the distance. And I need the distance out there. Like if it's too close to you, you're going to be shooting right in front of your ship. You want to shoot in the distance, right? So that it looks like you're actually shooting in a certain direction. And then I said, okay, how do I do this? Well, I'm going to need that mouse position. And if you remember from last time, I was using this mouse position when I was actually doing my move of crosshair, right? And so I said, okay, if I'm going to use that more than once, I should probably just make it, uh, you know, this global variable. And so I made a uh, mouse position vector two up here. And, uh, and I put that in two places. So number one, I have it in update. Update checks every single frame where the mouse position is of my cursor, okay? Um, as long as the mouse is available, so mouse is not null. And then I jump down to move crosshair and I just updated that with mouse position there. Um, but then move target point is the new method that we created. Now this says, hey, I want you to get the X and Y of that mouse position. And I want you to get the target distance, like how far out that target is supposed to be. Any of target point, whatever that ball is that I decide is the target point. If you remember at the top, we created the serialized field that's a target point that I'm going to set up when I go into um, Unity itself. I want you to move that uh, screen to world point to that target point position, okay? So anytime that my cursor is moving, that ball is following that cursor. So what does that look like? Let's jump into Unity real quick and I'll hit play here and you can immediately see that ball, that ball that sphere is following my cursor. Now you can see it's behind the mountain because it's in the distance. It's not behind these other further mountains, but that's where you can go into, if I zoom over here, and I click on my player ship, you'll see I have the target uh, point right here and I have the target distance. So I could say, I want that like a thousand, thousand points out. And then if I hit play here, that ball should be way further out. You won't even see it unless I go way up in the sky, which let me zoom this over so you can see it here. If I go way up in the sky, you might be able to see that ball, but it's, it's way out in the distance. So that's what I did today. Hopefully that is uh, that makes sense for you. And then tomorrow I'll work on trying to actually shoot at that distance. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.